שלום לכל צפי יורמיקס, אני שחר אסידו. אני טל דהן. ואנחנו נמצאות בחזרה של אלינה נצ'ייב על המופע חגיגה אסטוני. אלינה ייצגה את אסטוניה באירוויזיון 2018 עם השיר לפורצה, והשבוע היא מופיעה ברחבי הארץ עם קאמרת הירושלים. הצטרפנו אליה כדי לשאול כמה שאלות על סגנון המוזיקה שלה, האירוויזיון והחוויות מהארץ. רגע לפני שנתחיל, אנחנו מזמינים אתכם להירשם כמנויים בערוץ היוטיוב שלנו ולעקוב אחרינו גם בדף האינסטגרם, שיספק לכם הצצה בלעדית לכל מה שקורה בעולם האירוויזיון. Tere Elina Nechaeva, who represented Estonia in 2018 Eurovision Song Contest. We are so happy to have you here in Israel. How are you? Shalom. I'm very happy to be here. And uh, we're going to have amazing concerts. So I cannot wait to perform for Israel, for Israel people in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem and, and other cities. So I'm really excited and I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> Me too. You are performing in a show called Estonian Celebration with the Israeli camera at Jerusalem. How did this collaboration came about? Um, it started with amazing conductor Andres Mustonen, uh, who uh, actually lives here too. And uh, we're doing a lot of um, cultural uh, exchange. And many Estonian artists actually have already come here to perform and even our opera house uh, had performed in uh, Tel Aviv Opera. So uh, cultural exchange is amazing and, and actually uh, some uh, artists from Israel are coming to Estonia in summer to perform there. So culture saves the world and unites all the people. Really cool. Um. As I mentioned, you represented Estonia in 2018 Eurovision Song Contest with your opera song La Forza. Is the connection between opera and Eurovision obvious to you or should the Eurofans should be more open to this genre? I think that uh, Eurovision is a wonderful place where we can uh, introduce different kind of music. Of course, um, now there is more uh, pop songs, but It's an amazing platform to uh, introduce not only operatic vocals but also national uh, music some with some elements in it uh, some dance music rock music like it's it's a festival of uh, all genres so I think uh, that is uh, in my opinion the most im- interesting years of contests are when they're very different genres so it's the most interesting for me. Uh, you came eighth place in the contest. Were you satisfied with the results? Yeah, of course, I was very satisfied with the results because uh, usually operatic songs, they don't get quite high places. So for me, it was a very big honor to be in the first 10. So I was really happy. Top 10 material. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you returned to the Estonian national final Estilau this year with the song Remedy. What brought you to make part in the contest again? Actually, uh, Sven Luhmus, who had written uh, many uh, songs for Eurovision already from Estonia, uh, he just called me and said, oh, you know, I have a song, let's try out. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's try. So we wrote together a song and sent it to Esti Laul. Actually, I didn't even think that it will go through. <laughs> when it, go- it went through and I even went to the final. So I was like, wow, okay, that's wonderful. So I, yeah, just... Um, way Esti Laul is a very good uh, platform in Estonia to introduce your new projects, your new song, because it gets a lot of views. So if you want to uh, come out with your single, for example, it's uh, the best way. Yeah. Um, what did you think of the Israeli song Toy by Neta? It was a very fun song. And uh, I really liked it. And uh, as you see, many people in the world like that song. So it was a very fun song. Okay. Are you considering to return to the Eurovision again? I don't know. You never know. Like maybe, maybe if I have a great song someday and uh, it will win Esti Laul, 
then of course I'm coming back. But actually, uh, in Esti Laul, uh, the selection, it is, as in Eurovision, it's the same system. So, uh, there half of the votes are the jury's votes, and half of the votes are um, people votes. So, yeah, and we have also a grand final where top three artists and already only the audience, only the people who vote, they choose the winner. So, you never know what people like, so... I, I don't know if I will ever come back to Eurovision, but if I do, I will be really happy. But never say never. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, what message do you wish to convey to your fans in Israel? Oh, that uh, Israel is an amazing country. Uh, full of wonderful people uh, and I am amazed how many smart and intelligent people are here who uh, love music, who go to the theatre, opera and um, I just hope that uh, our world will be uh, more open and uh, more united by beautiful music so peace and love! <laughs> Thank you Elina Nachaeva and enjoy your tour in Israel Thank you so much. Thank you for coming here to the rehearsal. I really appreciate it and I'm very happy to see you and thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. רוצים להישאר מעודכנים בכל החדשות שקשורות לאירוויזיון? רוצים לעזור לנו להמשיך לספק כתבות מעניינות לתחרות? יירשמו כמנויים לערוץ היוטיוב שלנו.